what happened. I hope everybody out there is doing well. Here's one for you. Today, you're going to be sampling a Spaten Oktoberfest. Have you ever had an Oktoberfest beer before? Yeah, maybe Oktoberfest. No, no. I don't think I had an October's Budweiser Fest, but I mean, no. Not to the, no. All right. I'm not highly into that stuff, you know, because most of that's a seasonal beer, right? Most yeah. of the time, it, it shit tastes like, yeah, you know, tastes like shit, so I don't give a fuck that with you know, No, so I have to say no to that. Spaten Franze Kannebrau, and I've butchered that, is a Munich, Germany brewery founded in 1397 and eventually relocated in 1854 to its current location still in Munich. It is owned by Anheuser-Busch InBev, which is a global conglomerate, multinational corporation that also owns Budweiser and assorted beverages. So it's the same company that owns Bud Light. Different brewery, though. This beer is an Oktoberfest beer, or as it's also known as a Marzen, which is a lager that is typically brewed for Germany's Oktoberfest celebration in the fall, running from mid to late September to the first Sunday in October. And this beer has an alcoholic content of 5.9%, so it's not really that high. Yeah, Oktoberfest, uh, and pour it, right away when they pour it, it probably tastes like shit. But, uh, <laughs> everybody likes, you know, everybody likes a lot of pork ball. I personally usually don't, but I mean, anything that's been poured, even, even food, I mean, so far, anything that's poured, it just can, uh, puts a bad taste in my mouth. But who knows, I mean, you know, it might come along with something. I don't think it's a twist off top either, is it? No. Uh, yeah. Another thing why I wouldn't want to drink it, but and I lost my, uh, Bottle for there we go. Hey, there goes one. 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 Oh, you alive in there? Great. I don't know. No fucking small or not. Uh oh, I'm a little worried about this shit. <laughs> Maybe somebody put something out in there besides beer. I mean, probably no smell at all. No head at all. But it took me a little bit by surprise, but we'll see what happens. Let's see the open door. There it goes. There it goes. And now it looks like a beer. Now there's a little bit of smell. It smells like cologne, leave it alone. It's like this is a mighty fine dish. I don't know. Huh. Would you might want to try this? Yeah, that's fucking... That's funny. You got a small all to it. But it's a little weird. The head on it though, it's got a nice head. It looks like a good beer, but let's give it a shot. I ain't dead yet. I think so. <laughs> see what is out with this. Nope, I gotta get through the head. I didn't even taste the beer yet. But... Got a taste that I never tasted. It tastes like fucking bark off a tree or something. I mean, I don't know. Uh, it, I don't know. This is a little, It's kind of got a unique taste to it. Now, I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. But it's just a little bit. Uh, huh. 
If I keep going like that, by the time I take it, the fucking thing will be gone. But it, uh, a little weird. I mean, it tastes all right, but it doesn't taste like a beer. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know how, uh, I don't know how to, I don't know, uh, kind of lost for words what to say about this thing. I say there's no smell to it. There's some kind of taste to it, but, uh, hmm. I'm kind of lost for words for this thing. I just, it doesn't taste like a beer. It doesn't taste, if you know what I'm saying, it doesn't taste good, it doesn't taste bad, but I mean, I just don't, uh, it's, uh, I gotta let my taste buds get used to it or something, but it, I mean, it looked good and everything. Look at it. I mean, you got a nice foam, a little dark beer, but. It's mild. It's, 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 it's potent as it looks like, you know, dark beer usually are a little more potent than a domestic beer or anything, but it's mild. But I mean, it, it's not that bad, but it's something I wouldn't want to drink all the time because uh, just, there's, not, there's just not enough taste to it. If that's, you know, I just, uh, I say it's not good, it's not bad, but I mean, it's better than some of, a lot better than some of the other shit I tasted, but there's not a, not much smell and much taste to it. Huh. I think the reason for that is because it's meant to be drunk, like, well, a lot. Like, well, they, like yeah, people just tear it through it. Well, exactly. Well, well, that's what I said. That's what I just said before I, I'm tasting. I mean, before I know it, the fucking empty glass will be empty and I'll be on another one. But, you know, this is, uh... But it, it seems like it's good enough for you to continue to drink it. Yeah, it's not yeah, disgusting because yeah. you're yeah. still drinking Yeah. Yep, so that, yeah, you might, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's a party boy's fucking, yep. Down it and have another one, but yeah, you could, you could probably down a few of these because there's, like you say, not much taste, no smell in there. Here we are. So, before this episode is over, it might be down on it. Cheers! <laughs> like I said, I don't think it's bad. I thought it was pretty... It was better than a lot of the other yeah, stuff I had. Mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe because it's mild. Maybe that's why I yeah, thought it was mild. Yeah. It's mild. This is something you could drink four or five or six. You could down them pretty quick. But that's if, if it's a party drink, whatever your party beer, well, I can understand that because, yeah, it could go down. Like, you know, I had to take 10 sips before I really, you know, and the fucking thing's almost gone now. So, I mean, I could have, yep. Yeah. So, not terrible. It, it, I give them a probably five because there's something I, it, it don't smell and they always say once you don't get past the smell it's, it's, but I mean it, it's not well, like I said it's hard to describe the taste but it's, it's not ter- it, it tastes okay but there's not much taste at all to it so I mean it's something you know somebody I could probably drink four or five of these things and a lot of people when, you know, when you're out partying you're, you're, you're there a lot of people just say Oh, don't take this wrong now, people. I'm not an alcoholic, but I like my beer. But I mean, you know, you're there to get the spec from it. You, you know, four or five beers, then you're feeling better. And after you get four or five beers, you don't give a shit eat drink. But the thing is, I mean, I could drink that. I could probably have four or five beers of this. And, you know, and then, like I said, after you have that, you can give me anything. And then, you know, but it's not giving a five or six. Not terrible. It's a little, it's a lot. A lot better than some of the shit I have been drinking or testing, so. <laughs> but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it over my Bud Light. I wouldn't do that. I won't, you know, I say, I, I give this a 10, so I'll, I'll give that, you know. But it, it's, got, it's got potential. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. Try it. I mean, yeah, it might, you know, a lot of people like the, the Oktoberfest stuff. I mean, seasonal beer, and I mean, uh, give it a shot. That's still the best. It doesn't, uh, Usually it doesn't give me the shits. It doesn't give me a hangover. And I mean, I, you know, I just, I enjoy the taste. It's pretty well, relatively cheap yet. And, uh, so, uh, they got to come up with a good beer before I give up the old Bud Light. And that, I mean, everybody stay well. I'll see you next time on Hammer Time with Bob. Good night, all.